welcome dear students today in this video lecture we are going to discuss about the darcy's wage basic equations which is used to calculate the loss of head due to the frictions in pipe in case of turbulence flow students from the experiment it is known to us that the viscous friction associated with the fluid is proportional to the various parameter so let me write the parameter on which the value of viscous friction is depends so first this viscous friction is depends on the length of pipe which is indicated by l then second it is depends on the wetted perimeters which is indicated by capital p then it is depends on the velocity to the power n where this v is the average velocity n is index which is depends on different parameters and generally the value of this index is lies in the range of 1.5 to 2 so generally we take as the 2 now after discussions of this factor which is affect the viscous frictions in turbulence flow let we consider one pipe now students we are going for derivations of darcy's weber's equations so here we consider the two section in the pipe so this is section 1 this is the section 2 the length between these two section is l the diameter of the pipe is d the flow is happens in the directions from left to right so the frictional resistance generated due to this viscous effect is acting in opposite directions to the flow pressure intensity at the section 1 is the p1 and the pressure intensity at the section 2 is the p2 so let we write the various nomenclatures that we are used to derive the darcy's weibel's equations so p1 is the intensity of pressures at section 1 similarly p2 is the intensity of pressure at section 2 l is the length of pipe between section 1 and 2 then capital p is the wetted perimeter of pipe and the value of this wetted perimeter is pi d then a suffix c that is the cross sectional area of pipe and it is pi by 4 d square where as is the wetted surface area which is equals to perimeter into the length and the perimeter is pi d so it becomes a pi d l now students from the pressure intensity we calculate the pressure force which is acting at the section 1 so pressure force at section 1 is p1 into the cross sectional area similarly the pressure acting at section 2 so the net value of pressure force in the directions of the flow is
or we can write that it is called as a propelling force which is equals to P1 into AC minus P2 into AC so it becomes the P1 minus P2 into the AC now students we are going to analyze the frictional resistance in the same case so the frictional resistance it depends on the velocity to the power 2 as well as it is depends on the surface area so finally if we remove this proportionality limit then we get f dash a s into v square where f dash is the constant now for the equilibrium conditions for the force we know that the propelling forces which is equals to the frictional forces we know the value of propelling force that is p1 minus p2 into cross sectional area and the frictional resistance is f dash as into the v square now students we called this expression as expression number one now we are applying the Bernoulli's equations between the two section of the pipe so by Bernoulli's theorem it is p1 by rho g plus v1 square by 2g plus z1 equals to p2 by rho g plus v2 square by 2g plus z2 plus hf where hf is the frictional head loss now student we know that for the horizontal pipe z1 equals to z2 as well as the velocity v1 equals to v2 so our Bernoulli's equation is becomes p1 by rho g equals to p2 by rho g plus hf so we get p1 minus p2 by rho g equals to hf and from that we get the value of p1 minus p2 which is equals to hf into rho g now we put down this value of p1 minus p2 in expression number one so by putting down the value we get hf into rho g into cross sectional area equals to f dash into a s into v square now we make subject the hf so hf equals to f dash a s v square divided by rho g into a c now we know that a c equals to the pi by 4 d square and a s equals to the pi d l so now we put it down the value so it is f dash upon rho g into a s upon a c into v square so f dash upon rho g into pi d l divided by pi by 4 d square into v square so finally we get the 2 into f dash upon rho g into 4 l on d into v square by 2 now students we multiplied this expression with the g and we divide with the g as well as we know that rho into g is w so we put down the value so, so we get 2 f dash upon w into 4 l g divided by d into v square by 2 g so now students 
we know that the f equals to 2g f dash divided by w and which is called as the Darcy's friction coefficient. So finally we get the f into 4l divided by d into v square by 2g and if we rearrange the term then we get hf equals to 4f l v square divided by 2g d and this expression is called as the Darcy's waste batch equations which is used to calculate the loss of head due to the frictions in the pipe thank you students thank you for attending this video lecture thank you